All right, let's talk about Python modules. So an interactive Python interpreter lets programmers run code a line at a time. And this is typically used for short programs or just practicing Python syntax. And more commonly, programmers write Python code in a file, which is also called a script. And then they execute the code using a Python interpreter. And programmers may write lots of separate script files or even import code into other scripts. So a module is a file that contains Python code that may be used by other modules or scripts. And we use an import statement to make a module available for use via dot notation. So for example, math.py to get the value of pi. And when writing large programs, putting code in smaller modules makes managing it much easier. And there's many useful pre-installed modules that are part of the Python standard library that you can use in your programs. And they typically contain useful functions and we will learn these in future videos. And they typically contain useful functions. When you import a module, all the code in the module is executed immediately and Python programs typically use the built-in special double underscore name double underscore to determine if the file is executed either by a script or by the programmer. And files may also be imported by another module. All right, let's try out an example of modules. So in this cars.python file, we have four variables declared, car model one and two and car year one and two. And just, I set them to some um, default values. So car one is a BMW, car two is a Jeep Wrangler. And I set the year for car one as 2008 and the year for car two as 2021. And then we have this little if statement, if name, is equal to main and this means that it'll only print out these cars if I actually execute this file if I run cars.python right click and run it it'll that's the only time it'll print out these two print statements where it'll print out the car year and model for car one and year and model for car two but if I use this script anywhere else then it won't execute these print statements and we can actually get these this data from a different file. So let's go to demo.python. And the first thing we're going to do is import cars. And then to print out the cars, this is what we could do. We could say print. Let's say my old car was a comma cars dot. After I type the dot, using dot notation, it shows me what variables are available from that other script that I imported, the cars.python. So let's say car year one, and then comma cars.car model one. Okay, we'll print that out, and we'll also print out my oops, my new car is a quote comma cars.car year two. And cars that car model to and let's run this file in demo so right click demo run it and it prints out an, the new print statements and notice that even though it's importing those variables from the cars Python file it's not printing out these older print statements which are only ran if you run this file specifically but if you're importing the data into another file, it's not going to run them and it's only going to just use the values any way that you want. And in this case, we're printing them out with all new text saying my old car, my new car is, and so on. Actually, we don't need this extra space right here because it's got two little spaces. So we could just quickly take care of that by removing that extra space, running it again. Yeah, that looks a little bit better. So that is modules in Python. Thanks for watching.